Hi, I'm Antonio Centeno, the founder of Real Men Real Style, and today I'm going to be talking about casual men's belts, how to wear them, and where to buy them. Okay, this is presented by my company, Real Men Real Style, and um, I would like for you guys to know that there's a lot more information over at my website, so I usually put a link right underneath the video that goes to an article, that goes to into, into a lot more detail than just what I talk about here in the videos. In addition, I have another link to my free ebook, 47 pages of awesome content, and if you're interested in any of my courses like the Style System or any of my communities, you should definitely go check out this last link. Okay, so I ask you guys to subscribe, and this is the reason. So if you're on my email list with some of the belts I'm talking about here, you're actually going to get a very special discount code. Now, if you're not subscribed, you may be finding this video months from now, years from now, and you just didn't know about this, and unfortunately, you're going to miss this deal. When you're subscribed, you find out about this stuff, and uh, I ask you guys to like these videos because that helps more men find them. Okay. So today, what I'm going to be talking about, what defines a casual belt, how to wear a casual belt, casual belt styles. I'm not going to go into so much in this article, how I'm sorry, in this video, but I do go into a lot of detail in the article, which I link to down below and three places to buy casual belts. Well, probably more than three places, but I'm going to point out two American companies and then I'm going to uh, get into a little bit more detail. Okay, so what defines a casual belt? The buckle. So first off, it is larger buckles usually on casual belts. They're made from uh, different materials. Sometimes you'll see, oftentimes uh, you'll see brass, you'll see, you'll see steel. It, it, these are just, the buckles are larger, especially in the Western world. So if you ever see, you definitely can recognize uh, Western belt buckles. But um, yeah, I probably should have put a picture up there, but I think you can just quickly Google that. But the buckle is usually one of the defining uh, dress belts, and that's what I'm comparing these with. They're going to have more delicate buckles. Proportions, and this actually lies with, but it's also with the strap. So the width of the strap, the thickness. Okay, so you can see this strap right here is almost two inches high and is going to be, it look, you can see three thick layers of leather thick. And this is from, I, I took this picture from the company uh, Vago. Uh, they were made in Alabama and I'll be talking a little bit more about that company later. So we've talked about the buckle, proportions, strap design. So as you can see, this is a casual belt. It, uh, can anyone guess in the comments what uh, this oyster along with a, looks like a six shooter, what, uh, what these things mean? <laughs> okay, so strap design. A lot of casual belts like to have fun with that. And the material. So this casual belt is made with a combination. This has a uh, gross gain uh, ribbon on the outside, and then it's got a it's a leather back. So it's got leather underneath it to give it a sturdy feel, uh, but it's still got the casual belt look to it. And so a mixture of these materials definitely makes this casual. In a, in addition, the belt buckle is a little bit. It almost looks like a dress belt buckle, but it's built a little bit heavier. And uh, the color, the stitching, notice how the contrast stitching, they didn't try to match it right here. So this, in addition, all of these things go in to make a casual belt. So how to wear a casual belt? You can wear it usually in two different ways, as an accent piece, and this is where it just naturally goes with your clothing. It's not looking to stand out or to be something that people are going to give you compliments on, although some people may. Uh, here you can see this, this gentleman is just wearing a pair of jeans and it looks like a, like a t-shirt. Not, I'm not going to say I you know, think it's the best look for a, a gentleman, but I am going to say this is what a lot of guys are wearing and it works for them. So besides an accent, what's the other option? To wear the belt, the casual belt, as a centerpiece. So, 4th of July is coming up here in the United States, a big independence holiday for us. And let's say you've got just, you're going to wear a simple white polo with a light pair of, uh, of khakis, maybe some boat shoes. Not, not really, you know, the, the, an outfit that's going to draw a lot of attention. Well, you could wear this belt with that outfit that I just talked about. And all of a sudden, this belt is going to be the centerpiece. It's not going to draw a whole lot of attention to you, but it is going to be something that people can look at. And you know, they can, you can definitely see that you are celebrating the 4th of July and having a little bit of fun with it. Now, I'm not going to go into this too much, but you can also wear casual belts. And of course, 
the function. You know, ideally belts are being worn to help hold up our pants. Although most of us hopefully are wearing clothing that fits and the pants wouldn't fall off if we weren't wearing a belt. But function is an important aspect and I do need to talk about it. So here we can see that if you are, you know, let's say sailing near, uh, near, you know, the Gulf of Yemen and uh, you're off the coast of Somalia, you wear this belt and the pirates, they're just not going to mess with you. They're going to think you're one of your own. No, seriously, uh, you can wear heavier leather belts for tactical purposes. So I know a lot of you guys out there, uh, you know, possibly conceal carry. So wearing the right belt that's sturdy is going to work for you. And I haven't tested if this belt will ward off pirates. So where to buy these belts and other belts like that? Well, let me go ahead and jump out here and I want to bring up a couple companies, uh, both of them making belts here in the United States, one of them, Not Clothing. And so I know the owner over at Not Clothing, we've been talking about what he's put together. He's got his back nine collection and these are ribbon leatherback belts, uh, actually pretty hard to find. And I love that they've specialized in this niche. So if you go golf, if you sail, these are great belts. And by the way, if you're on my email list, you're going to get a uh, discount code for this. Uh, Okay, another one is uh, the classic D ring belt, double D ring belt, sometimes called. And you can go with, you know, over here at Knot Clothing, they've got a lot of really fun nautical themed uh, ribbons that, that they use to make the belt. Pretty cool stuff. But you can also go with a very simple one that uses the design as well. So I was showing you guys some leather belts. Now this is a company down in Alabama. It's called Vago and my friend uh, Robert Porter runs this and you definitely should go check them out. Uh, what I love about their belts is they're just, well, I don't definitely, I don't like that shirt, but I do love their belt. Their belts hand built right in the United States, three ply construction, as you can see right here and just amazing belts. He also makes tactical belts. So if you don't know what that is, don't worry about it. But if you do know what that is, you understand how important it is to have a sturdy tactical belt if you're concealed carry. Okay. So right back to the presentation. So for more information, make sure to visit Real Men Real Style. I cover dress belts over there as well. This was again about casual belts. And gentlemen, I will see you in the comments. Take care. Bye-bye.